Matt Lecky, you're making quite the habit of scoring goals here in Kuwait City. Yeah, for sure. Uh, obviously, happy. Um, it was a tough first 10 minutes and uh, they actually came at us pressing. So to score another goal to sort of get the game under control a little bit, I was very happy with and obviously not going to complain if I could keep scoring. Talk us through your, mem- your memories of your goal. Obviously a great cross from Aziz Bage. Yeah, look, we uh, we had a game plan set. We knew that the pockets would be able to get in some of the uh, pockets in between the midfield and the defence and then try to get out wide and uh, break that line. And obviously, um, you know, it's not always easy on, in the conditions of, of the pitch to, to get uh, the accuracy on the cross, but I just hit it perfectly in the moment and uh, it came off my head as well perfectly. So I was uh, very happy with the, with the finish and, uh, like I said, it was a very important goal to sort of dictate the game from there on in. Australia scored a second in the first half and this time you made an assist for Fran Karacic who scored his first in national goal. A great moment for him. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, I think it's a special moment for him. He was uh, he wouldn't let go of me after the goal. He, we obviously gave him a hug. And we, were, uh, we were stoked for him and he was grabbing me pretty tight. So, nah, uh, stoked for him. You know, it hasn't, I think, uh, you know, coming into camp for such a long time since he was there um, in Turkey... A few years back, uh, yeah, it's not so easy, you know. He's uh, he doesn't really know too many players, so he needs to get find his rhythm. And I think a goal uh, will make him feel a lot lot better. And uh, you know, as day day by day as things go on, he'll uh, he'll feel more comfortable, and hopefully, uh, you know, he'll uh, settle in a lot more. And I think, uh, He's a great player, you know, for me, against Kuwait, he was one of the best, Uh, didn't put a foot wrong, and tonight again, very solid. And the result tonight seals Australia's place at top Group B in qualifying, and that's what the group set out for back in 2019. Yeah, for sure, you know, we came here to try to win the four games, and so far so good, you know, we're three from four, and we definitely want to go into the the last game and, and, and look for the for the W as well. Um, just because we're qualified now, obviously it's a, a good achievement and it's, it's what we, we wanted, but we want more as well. Um, so we'll definitely prepare ourselves well for the for the for the final game against Jordan. I'm sure Arnie will put you, put out a very strong side and uh, yeah, we want to go home with uh, all four wins and continue our un- unbeaten record. The win tonight also seals Australia a place at the AFC Asian Cup in China in 2023, which is always an important competition for the team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's another another thing that we've uh, achieved, and I mean, it all comes together when you when you're winning and you're playing well. Um, I think that's seven wins in a row now, um, no loss, no draw, and it's uh, something that's never been achieved, and we want to continue that. Uh, I think we've been dominant in, in every game we've played so far and sometimes uh, you can be dominant and uh, the chances that you create, they don't go in, but we just keep, we kept going, kept going, kept going and we got three today, um, could have been more, but uh, I think uh, you know we're doing all the right things, we're getting in the right positions and we're creating the chances, just sometimes it doesn't, you know, the, the end product, whether it's a bit of unluck, uh, a bit of um, loss of concentration or even the conditions of the pitch. Um, but as long as we're doing the right things, um, we're always going to be going in the right direction, step in the right direction, and uh, that's what we'll continue to try to do. And just finally, Matt, you're wearing the number seven, and there have been seven debutants here in Kuwait City. The latest, Lawrence Thomas, a fantastic moment for him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it's a special moment for the boys. Uh, mine was especially... Uh, I remember mine, and it was very special, and you know we've had the opportunity also to... Um, you know, we had Timmy online the other day who um, represented the, the debutants, their, their cap. So uh, I think uh, that was that's a massive honour for them as well. And um, we're just, you know, building the squad. Uh, although we've been we've had a long layoff and we haven't been together for so long, we've had the opportunity to um, find some more depth, some more youngsters coming through, and uh, the, the team's only looking stronger. Matt, enjoy the result tonight and all the best on Tuesday against Jordan. Thanks, Matt.